smart, age-friendly housing, there's lots that you can read into that. So I think the first thing is looking at A, having a house that's fit for purpose. And so um, that for me is all about removing all the pain points in someone's house and looking at it beyond the physical. So you've got uh, the need for shelter, for it to have good air quality, to have right temperature. And then also to look at some of the psychological needs that people have. Having heard the content and the expertise uh, delivered this morning, I think it's, it's the only way forward. Um, I don't think one person, one organisation can crack this uh, problem on their own. I think collaborating and really understanding the challenges, the issues that every stakeholder has is going to be an absolutely clear thing for us to sort of try and uh, crack uh, as a, as a, as a uh, sort of movement. So I think events like this are important because obviously it brings people together from lots of different disciplines and it allows us to do a crash course really in all of the uh, important issues that maybe you, you're not exposed to enough. And I think that often when we're dealing with um, social issues, cultural issues and uh, issues around personal behaviour and the way we think and also issues around healthcare, it's so vast that it's very easy to get uh, pulled in to your own area of specialism. Um, and then you start to not be able to see the wood for the trees. And so events like this are really useful just for just bringing everyone back to, I suppose, the front page and saying, well, look, let's all learn from each other and let's really evaluate what the problem is, what the challenges are, and then let's see if we can come up with potential solutions. So what I believe and what I see in my, uh, in my research basically is that there are so many brilliant activities going on already at the regional level, in particular in relation to age-friendly housing and age-friendly homes. Um, many of these activities are not exchanging knowledge because they take place in particular regions and nations, so they are bound to the context in which they take place. So I think one of the the great things the European Commission can offer in this regard with the reference framework and by bringing things together is really pointing out those best practices in different contexts and bring them in contact with each other to facilitate learning. The consensus of the discussion that we just had is that technology won't replace the people, the care that's provided within our developments, but it will be able to supplement um, what we're doing within those developments. I think that's very exciting to think where we take this as the next stage. Because sometimes we can get so excited by the potential of technology that we forget that, uh, that the human interaction is an important part of that. So thinking about the ways that technology can work in harmony with human uh, behaviour and human interaction I think was a really important point for me to take away. I have seen too many people lose their humanity, lose their dignity, become a number, become a bed, be told what to do. I've seen too many people exist as opposed to live, to continue to live my life and not try to do something about it. The idea behind the roadshow is to draw together different players, different actors, different stakeholders, multidisciplinary, um, people that don't normally talk together, let alone act and, and collaborate together. And this will help us to define what the opportunity really is. This will inform the European Commission's thinking process in terms of what kind of instruments they need to create is it in relation to funding? Is it in relation to policy? The great thing about this is, and it's the first time to my knowledge that they're doing it in this way, it's about listening. It's not about coming up with a solution and thrusting it upon us. It's actually listening to what the people who are on, on the ground, people who are actively involved in supporting the needs of an aging population, what they need and what they want. I think it was really excellent because we managed to get 
a number of interesting people together that otherwise wouldn't come together from finance, from construction, from technology, from startups uh, and from the user sector and it just confirmed I think that this issue of making homes age friendly is, is really the right topic at the right time. Uh, and also from the Commission perspective we are really interested in connecting the dots across Europe so we can bring all that knowledge together and then together see how we can really make the steps happen because we are not there yet and, and the potential is there but we need to now to build on this uh, say collaboration to, to get us to a point where things can really happen.